Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. Today's the 30th. I placed this order on Tuesday the 26th and it's already here. Woohoo! Okay, so first I want to show you the back of this. Oh, you know what? First I want to tell you who I got it from. Ha ha ha. This is a haul from Paper Wishes at paperwishes.com in Canby, Oregon. Now the reason that I had to use the 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 invoice from the last order was because on the back of this order I found this whoops and apparently there they have a new club type thing where you save 10% and you are supposed to get the first look at all this stuff so I don't know I have no plans on joining but perhaps you will so I will leave that there for a couple of seconds for you to see. What are you doing, dog? And then, um, yeah, we'll get into my order for this $2 Tuesday. Okay, so what was the $2 Tuesday for this week? $2 Tuesday this week was on papers. They're specialty papers. And it was pay $2 a sheet all right, you buy two, you get two. So everything I ordered, I got four of. <gasps> but oh my gosh. Okay, so first off, this. Oh, let me zoom out. Okay, this. This was for er, $2 for 20 sheets of what, what they call pearlized paper. Although Paper Wishes does not call it pearlized because it's... There's hardly any pearl to it. They just call it pastel. They sell it as a pastel paper at Paper Wishes. So you get that. Now, let's, so I got I got four of those for $1.99. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see all the stuff I got. I picked up some red. I don't know if I'm going to... There's a lot of metallics in this guy, so you're going to be blinded pretty much no matter what I do. Okay, so you get the the red holographic. I picked up four of those. And, you know, I'm just going to have to take them in the order in which I have them here because that's going to be too hard to go through. I picked up a blue snowflake. These are 8.5 by 11s. Okay. Oh, come on. Eight and a half by 11s. All right. There's the UPC code. Let me zoom on out just a little bit. Not all the way, actually. And then I picked up a silver ripple. Now, the nice thing about these ripples, and I've done a video on this before, is the silvers and the golds, you can color them with any alcohol marker, permanent marker. It changes the characteristic of the paper just enough. Oh, I should not laugh. My husband got rooked into watching the grand dog and he's part Labrador and he likes going after the ball and they're trying to play volleyball. Okay, so here's some ripple paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Sinuses, I hate them. Then I picked up four of the pink hearts. Those pretty. I picked up oh, this one. I was kind of wondering what it was because I hadn't heard of this one before. It's a uh, purple geometric, but it's the shiny paper, which is not one of my favorites. So, that's going on the ooh, list. Then I got, oh, look at this. This is firework paper. All right. It comes in blue. And I also have it in brown. Now, they used to offer it in silver. And I was really hoping they'd bring the silver back. My understanding is you can color this with black ink. All right. And it actually looks like fireworks popping through. But look how pretty that is. Could you imagine that for the 4th of July? for 
any holidays, special occasions where you want to have a firework effect. Then they had the, is this the black or the blue? I think this is the black crocodile. All right, this is embossed. It's actually on both sides. I don't know if the, how well that's going to show. And they have the brown, also in the crocodile. I got four of those sheets. There, you, that, that might help show the difference in the color a little bit. You can see this is definitely brown, and this is definitely black. Okay. I, they offered white peacock, only white peacock. This was, I want to say these were a dollar a piece, these ones. Okay, now I need to put these away because now we're going to get into some fancy dancy stuff. Vellum. Oh my gosh, they have vellum dot on sale. They had. This is eight and a half by eleven. Oh, you know what? I think I am. I've got one sheet left of eight and a half by eleven. This is a blue, and again, it's the shiny stuff. I am not a fan of the shiny stuff. Had I realized it was shiny stuff, I would not have ordered it. Okay. Then I got some twelve by twelve. This is twelve by twelve vellum in swirls and dots, or swirls, just swirls. Okay, can you can you guys see how pretty that swirl is? Look at that. Oh, could you imagine that on the inside of a sheet of, of an, like an invite or something? I got some flocked musical notes. Okay, actually, I don't know if there's an up and a down to this. There must be because here is the clef sign. Uh, the the G clef and then the bass clef is down here. Okay, so you got your treble clef, you got your G clef, and then you got the musical notes and they're flocked. All right, and then I picked up some of this. This is a pink swirl, almost a pink damask. I don't know. I don't know how to show you guys the pretty pattern on this. There, there you guys can see it, kind of. Okay, then I got a 12 by 12, nice shiny damask in this color. It's just kind of like a gold. Okay, and then I got this one. This one has snowflakes in it. Can you guys even see those snowflakes? I gotta tell you, when I pulled this out, I looked at it and I thought, what in the world did I get? And then I saw the snowflakes. They're, they're right along the outside edge. Then I picked up, these are all 12 by 12s. This is a dot in a 12 by 12. This dot is different than the other dot. Let me see if I can't find that other dot quick. That's the swirls. Here it is. Okay, this is what they called a Swiss dot, I think. And then there's this one. Now, to me, a Swiss dot should be puffed up. This one is not. All right, but can you see the difference in the size of the dots? I think that's probably the best way to look at this is these are teeny tiny little dots. These are big and puffy dots. Okay. Then I picked up some holographic stars in silver. They had this only available or did they only have it in the 12 by 12? I think so. If it was available in the 12 by 12 and 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 the eight and a half by 11, I went with the 12 by 12 because I can cut this down to be an eight and a half by 11 if I so choose. And they did have the gold in the eight and a half by 11 as well, but I decided to go with the gold in the um, in the 12 by 12. And this is a nice bright gold. It's just it won't 
it con it's compensating it's overcompensating see there you can get the nice bright gold and the flash on these things oh my gosh and then I got a flocked zebra again 12 by 12 and I got the sparkly now when I ordered the self adhesive sparkly this is what I thought that it was supposed to be with the peel off back I was so wrong this is a beautiful gold color okay uh, I don't know how to show you guys the proper gold color maybe maybe uh, it's not gonna work it's it's just getting too much of the reflection from the from the window okay but uh, yeah it's it's a gorgeous almost orangey gold it's it's beautiful it is beautiful and I I love getting these papers when they go on sale I actually love getting them when they go on sale in the packs but that was not being offered this time so I definitely jumped at them when they went on sale by to get to because uh, a lot of these things they're expensive pieces of paper to buy just on their own so there there there's a there's a good way to show you the how yellow that is we'll put it against the against the silver there I mean it's it is just gorgeous oh my gosh and then to put vellum on top of it and to get that flash behind the vellum oh my goodness oh my goodness it is amazing and I love these I use these on the um, on the spines of books that I make because it's even though it's paper it's plastic coated so it doesn't tear very easily and they wear like a dream I tell ya but yeah I uh, I, I really really like the holographic papers um, they'll, they'll, they'll give me a headache if I look at them for too long but they are fantastic definitely okay guys so that's everything for this haul check out paperwishes.com every Tuesday they will have a new two dollar Tuesday and it's in quotes because sometimes it's three dollars sometimes it's five dollars sometimes it's eight dollars sometimes it's one dollar sometimes it's buy to get to hello this was the first time I heard them do that one which I was like yes so yeah that's everything guys I will talk to you all later I need to go fill my packets that I got okay talk to you later guys bye bye